Hi, I'm Dave Cross. In this video, we're gonna talk about product photography using the Westcott Flex LED. I'm certainly not known as a product photographer, but I gotta be honest, when I first saw the Flex LED, the very first thing I wanted to try was product photography because of the nature of these lights, the fact that they're so flexible. I can adjust the setting very easily when I wanna, and I'm getting instant results. So I'm looking at the product and I'm seeing where are the reflections, how much light do I want? And then, as you can see in this case, I've literally taken an elastic band so I can get some diffusion on there and I can bend and twist this in any way I want always look, getting that instant feedback that constant light gives me. So in this case, we have one on this side with a diffuser and then this one coming in close. Again, bent in different shapes and experimenting. I've got my camera on a tripod. I'm gonna be using a slower exposure, which of course I can do with a product because that's gonna give me some options. Also have a Skylux light in the back with a red gel to create a bit of a red background to go with our red wine look here and have some beautiful realistic grapes in the foreground. And the reality, one thing that I did find talking to my friends who are in the product photography world is when you have something as reflective as wine, it's quite likely you will have to take a couple of different shots adjusting the lights and then doing a quick masking job in Photoshop to get the best results. Very rare you're gonna get something directly out of the camera that's the way you want. But at least with these lights, I can experiment and with a slower shutter speed, you can even move them around as the photo is being taken to see the kind of results we'll get. So let's take a look. When you're working with very reflective objects like this wine bottle, one of the things we can do is a bit of painting with light. And using these constant lights gives me that opportunity. I've got my camera locked on the tripod, I've got a long exposure, I've also got the camera set on a timer so I can hit the shutter and then walk over here and start playing with the light, moving it around, changing the shape of the Flex LED. So I'll have several options that I can then bring into Photoshop and combine into one great product shot. Let's see how to do that. So here I am in Bridge. I've selected the four images that I want to use, and they're the ones that have different variations of light, and I'm going to combine them together. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all four and open them into Camera Raw. You can also do this part in Lightroom. I'm going to select and synchronize these, so whatever changes I make to one will affect all the rest. And really all I'm going to do is give the exposure a bit of a bump, push up the clarity, and I think I want a bit more vibrance in here and then hit done. I'm not going to open them because I want the next step to happen automatically. So I click done and then back in bridge I have them all four selected. I go to the tools menu to Photoshop load files into Photoshop layers and this will automatically take these documents and put them into one Photoshop document on separate layers. So that's saving me having to open them and combine them myself. Once they're in there, even though I used a tripod, I want to make absolutely sure they're lined up perfectly. So I'm going to select all four layers. I just clicked on the top one, held down shift and clicked on the bottom one. And under the edit menu, I choose auto align layers. I'm just going to use this function called auto. When I click OK, that's going to just tweak any necessary. You can see there's hardly any change, but it has now affected it the way I want. Then I'm going to press C for the crop tool and we're just going to perform a little crop on here now something like this and hit crop okay so now I have the images and as I look through them you can see different combinations of light I think this one here has the nicest background so I'm going to put this one at the bottom and then hide everything else and now I'm going to start combining together and say all right so on that one there's not much light on this edge there's a lot of light on this one so let's turn this one on now this is kind of the opposite so in each case, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a layer mask, but I'm going to hold down Option or Alt, and that will fill the layer mask with black. And that hides this completely. If I hold down the Shift key and click on it, I can remind myself what it looked like. So I want to add a little bit of light back onto the bottle and onto the grapes compared to this. So all I do is I take my brush tool. I've got the opacity set a little lower than 100%, and I'm going to make my brush a little bigger, and then start painting with white. And as I do, now I'm revealing this image that had the better lit grapes. It's a little darker over here, and I'm just gonna do a quick little, I'm just gonna think I'm gonna lower the opacity even more, like 30%, and just add a little bit more light on the side of that bottle. And I just repeat that with each one that I wanna see how it looks. I like the look of this on the top of the bottle. So I'm gonna, again, hold down Option or Alt, click on this one with my brush tool still set to white, and 
add a little bit more of this one on this side. I'll take a little bit of that glare away. And then finally, this one you can see is completely dark on this side. So let's do the same thing with the mask there. In this case, I want to take away that really obvious shine by painting less of the mask. So that's pretty good. I really like the way that's looking now. I notice I do that. I do need to just do a little bit of an extra crop to get out that little bit more. But you can see, pretty easy to combine multiple images to get the result that I want. So as you can see, the Westcott Flex LED lights offer some really interesting possibilities for working with products. I'm Dave Pross. Thanks for watching.